Hey, Carlotta, we're going fishing. See, si. and it's not raining. <laughs> and it's not raining for a change. <laughs> Invariably, it always rains whenever Charlotte and I decided that we're going to go fishing together. And it was raining this morning, and we thought, mm, yeah, no, it's going to it's going to be the usual story. But suddenly, we arrived. The rain stopped, and we both looked at each other. And go, this is a bit weird. Yeah. Anyway. You can see. Are you nearly finished? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to go. I want to go. Are you nearly there? Yeah. Really? I want to go fishing. I want to have coffee. Now? No, I only had one. Oh. Well, I might go fishing then. <laughs> <laughs> so Charlotte has found a little pod of fish down there. So I'm going to walk up a little bit further. Come up to this bend see what we can see. The river's looking in cracking fine form. I love fishing in September, it's all a bit cleaner. I've got my nine foot nine three weight hardy ultralight LL again. Nice gentle presentation. I've got a 12 foot leader going down to 6x. I'm going to start with that. If they're particularly spooky, then I might put on a length of 7x on the end. It's very still, but there is a bit of a hatch coming off. The fringe is nice and tall. There's a little wild fish in there. Just move up to the edge here. There's a nice fish. Oh, they move to it. A bit more depth, maybe. Oh, we nearly came and ate that. It's just sat on the grass there. Oh, it spooked him. Wow, that wasn't exactly a undelicate presentation either. That bigger fish is welled into the bottom. fish just came out from the reeds there. Just using this tree for a bit of cover. Oh, there we go, little grayling. Very nice. Come on, little grayling. Yep. Skittery into the net. Really pretty little grayling. A couple of nice trout in there. Not moving to that little hair's ear at all, though. I think we might go find another one that might want to play. The river's looking absolutely gorgeous, though. There's a nice deep hole in there, which is definitely worth investigating. I'm pretty sure I can see fish in it. So I'm going to keep low. Definitely keeping low at this time of year with the flat light. These fish are quite wise. Thinking about changing up the size of fly as well because I don't think I'm quite getting low enough in this little pool here.
Little wild fish beginning to rise. There must be something hatching off. It's very muggy. Oh, that was a little dry fly take. So maybe actually a dry is the way to go. Let's do that. Something really small, I think. Something like a little CDC. One of these little black CDCs are my favorites. Size 18 black CDC. It's literally just like a little split wing CDC. CDC over the pool and see what happens. This three weight is just gorgeous for light presentation on tiny dry flies. Ooh. Oh, I missed him. Suspect that was a little grayling. Oh, another little rise up there. Nobody at home though. I think we'll carry on moving on up. See if we can't find something a little bit more positive. Just coming up to the edge of this riffle here. And I've just seen a tail, literally just a flash of a tail on that sandy spot just in front of that green weed where the depth comes out of the pool. So I'm just going to put my little nymphy in there and see what happens. at it. Oh, he's following it. Oh, that was very close. Same cast. Just rolled over and ate something out of the weed then. Oh, a little premature on the strike maybe. A little premature striculation. Oh, again he moved to it. It's a really good fish that. That's a nice fish. Just sat in the tail of that little pool there. Huh? Whoa. Just a little beaded hairs here over him two or three times and he just come and smash it. That's quite angry fish. See if we can bring him down this way a bit. Stay out of that weed. That's a nice fish. Whoa, <laughs> lovely, very angry. Come on, fishy. Very satisfying. Bit of side strain. Let's knock him off balance. Oh, no, 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 stay out of that. Stay out of the reeds. You sneaky, sneaky fish. Come on. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Come on. Yes. 
Yes, that is quite a lumpy fish. It's actually a bit bigger than I thought it was. Come on. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. A really lovely fish. Thanks, mate. Oh, fish just took a dry fly in there. Oh, that was a proper smash. It's definitely a little hatch or something beginning to come off. It's probably time to switch back to a dry. I think we might try a little sedgy type thing. They've been quite affected down here recently. Give that little guy a go. Let's try the dry. I know there's a, quite a few fish up there, racked in there. It's that time of year where the trout begin to rack up into some of the deeper water. And the graylings start coming out on the lies. Yes! Big mouth just came out of nowhere and wanted to have that. Awesome. I can see three or four other fish in that hole as well. Fantastic. There's nothing like hooking them on the dry. out from underneath that edge of green and just hoovered it. God, it's strong. Don't think he's done yet. He's going to try and stick me in that mare's tail. buddy. Yes! Fantastic! Right in the roof of the mouth. Beautiful, beautiful fish. It's gonna give me a good shower too. Come on, off you go. Plenty of plenty of guts left in him. Awesome. Well, that's a good way to begin. I've just found an absolutely brilliant sized grayling. which I've already spooked. Damn. There's a nice trout in there too. Nice little pod of fish just sat in there. Some really big grayling. Nice big trout, which I got the trout, yes. Yes. Really skinny water. You can just see the size of the grayling in there too, though. It's monstrous. It's a really nice trout. Back down this way, I think. Fish. 
tiny little bead, he bead head hairs here on a size 18. This is what did the damage. Come on, trout. Come on, he's not ready. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, no, 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 don't go under there. Don't get stuck in that weed either. Yes. Come on, there you go. Thank you, mate. Very nice. Now let's have a crack and see if we can get them big. I think I've got a better cast and a better position on these fish now. That's perfect. Water's really skinny, so gentle presentation is really important. Probably got three more casts before that family of swans comes in and ruins everything. No, I'm done. It's one of my favorite bits on the Anton with this gorgeous thatched hut here. It's a very nice trout. If I can get in there before the swans arrive. No, swans are gonna mess up my fishing. And the hatch pool, there's one just hanging in the tail by the rim there. Come on, fishy. That's a good drift. Oh, sounds like Jilly's in. Said about four times, and he was just like, mm, <laughs> So I thought about this three pound ticket because one well, thing really careful. Nice fish. Fat fish. Well done. Cool. Fatty. It's going to do something horrible to me, though, almost certainly. Might have to take up your netting spot. That's a lovely grayling, though. Yes! Probably hooked my best grayling in the ceiling. Watching them, even though it is crystal clear, um, it was quite a long cast and it wasn't that easy. That's really lovely. Mm -hmm. Very happy with that. Now, buddy, off you go. Mm -hmm. Look at the trout at the back, just with his tail on the sand. Take the back fish, just on his tail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I've just got too overexcited. Come on. No, he's still there. Yep. Yes. Yes. I saw that. Oh, wow. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. I saw him open his mouth as he said. Wow. That's just, it's so exciting. Well done. Yay. And those big gravings are still there, I think, aren't they? Yep. You'll have to catch one of those next week. That was an amazing heat. That 
that was really cool. I mean, luckily it was so obvious he just went. <laughs> yeah, huge, great <laughs> white really mouth. Yes! Yay! Amazing! Baby! Look at that one! That is a lump of fish. That. Well done! Look at the paddles on it. Cracking condition. That's a stunner. Good nymph! Good nymph, Mr. McLeod! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> That's a bit of a tank, that. Oh my word! Well guys, it's been awesome to be back on the Anton. I just love fishing this piece of water. And uh, you know, I love fishing in September as well. I, uh, I hope you've really enjoyed this. I've had a phenomenal time hooking out those, uh, those trout and those big grayling. I really wanted a big grayling. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next one.